pomimo zapewnień zarówno Michał Despite assurances from both Michał Kuczymirowski and Paweł Schopper that they are at the prosecutor's disposal, an arrest warrant has been issued for the latter and the former is in British custody. This is to investigate whether the case is of political nature before the extradition hearing. What is it really like? Today I am checking. I don't want to preempt the facts, but I think it's a rare situation where a provisional arrest order has been issued and implemented by the British authorities, because the person has been detained. Please note that this is a fairly standard procedure used in hundreds of cases in relation to people who are fleeing from Polish justice. A fairly automatic procedure. The British court will check whether the case of the former head of the government's strategic reserves agency is politically motivated. Although Michal Kuczymierowski has been detained on the basis of a European arrest warrant, his surrender is not automatic. The court has postponed the extradition hearing until 17th of February. Until then, Kuczmierowski remains in custody. This long period of waiting for the subject to have this application from the Polish side raises my doubts. The United Kingdom, when it left the European Union in its separate extradition agreement, specifically in Article 82, indicated when the surrender of a detainee can be refused. Why does a British court or an English court need such a long period? Because the arrest warrant itself must specify the alleged act of the person prosecuted, its legal qualification, what kind of crime it is, whether it is organized crime or smuggling of people, or whether it is corruption. I also think that the British court is reserving this time to watch how the situation in Poland is developing, and by considering the various scenes from which the rule of law is evidently being violated today, may have additional doubts and, therefore, may defer such justification in order to punish when there are factual rather than political grounds. British courts are sensitive to political nuance in extradition cases. The defence is expected to take advantage of the fact that Michal Kuczmierowski's guilt has been publicly prejudged by politicians and the Attorney General himself before it had even come to court. An unfair trial is also feared by those accused of the same thing, that is participation in an organised criminal group, exceeding powers and full failure to fill his duties in order to obtain material benefits, financial gain in the case of Pavo Chopper. As he states, a decision was made upholding the prosecution's complaint against the decision not to arrest me. It was taken during a court session in which my defence lawyers were prevented from participating. In this way, I was deprived of my right to a defence, and this called into question the chances of a fair and just trial. Not wishing to participate in the media spectacle, through my defence lawyers, I applied for a letter of protection. This will enable me to appear before the court and give detailed testimony. I hope that the application will be granted. It is difficult to consider that this decision of the district court to apply pretrial detention against Mr. Pavel Schopper should not be regarded as an unlawful decision. We will certainly lodge a complaint in this case. Evidently, the materials are fragmented and in a biased way were communicated to the media, which already indicates what the alleged act of the person prosecuted, its legal qualification, what kind of crime it is, whether it is organized crime or smuggling of people, or whether it is corruption. And most absurd of all is the fact that Pavel Schopper is a businessman who is to be charged with official misconduct, that is, overstepping his powers and failing to fulfill his duties. A media verdict had already been handed down before the case went to court.